I'm sitting here with David Albert and Brian Hollis, and I just have a few questions that I'd like to ask both of you. So how did you two meet? Well, Brian and I met um, in the seventh grade band, and he was playing trombone, and I started on trombone, but went to other things. We became friends, and um, that's where it all started. Okay, so tell me about your influences. Well, we've had several. Uh, musically, Buddy Rich was an, uh, an influence of mine. Uh, playing lines and other great jazz drummers from the era. Um, one particular interest uh, here in Elizabeth City was our band director, Scott C. Calloway, who kind of gave us permission to use the band room facilities after hours so we could experiment with uh, what we were doing. He, he didn't try to guide us or direct us in any way, he just let us experiment uh, and it really turned out to be uh, some monumental lessons that we learned. So Brian, tell me how this project started. Well, I mean, Albert and I have been best friends basically since the seventh grade. And uh, we've, we've played together in, in different bands. We were in the Northeastern High School band together. And during all those years, we, we got in a lot of trouble together. And now, when we're a little older, uh, we figured it was about time that we, we did a project together. Because we've never done it. So that's why it's a dream come true. Who are your major influences as a songwriter? Well, of course, there, there were a lot of influences. I mean, I was, I was raised on, on Top 40 radio. My father listened to country music. But, and, and my mother was a church musician. So there were all those influences. But I would say, if I had to pick one incident that made me want to be a songwriter, that was uh, in the 10th grade in Scott Cowboy's band when uh, we played at Gershwin Bedley. It was the first time I heard uh, Gershwin's Ratchet and Blue and a lot of his other songs. And then I basically became a Gershwin freak. Everybody else was going to parties, taking uh, you know Eagles records to play, and I'm coming with Gershwin's American in Paris. I was not the most popular guy at those parties. Even then, way back then, I had a, we both had a dream of, of doing something together. I used to draw when I was a kid and I drew like a big band. And I remember drawing on the band fronts, Albert slash Hobbs, big band. So this, this whole thing started a long time ago as, as just, you know, messing around with dreams. So uh, I'm sitting here. Uh, this lovely lady who's been uh, interested in our project is uh, Amy Brothers. And uh, Albert and I both have a sort of unique uh, connection with her because she happens to be my sister-in-law, and uh, she also happens to be a former student of David Albert. And another interesting part is that uh, she's a fantastic vocalist. When we went to college together, we really got to know each other on a different level because now we're, we're living together. In fact, uh, one of the things I remember that his feet used to really stink a lot. And, uh, well, we got over it.